let's jump right into this found this makeup tutorial here I'm just gonna mix two of my favorite foundations which is my MAC Pro Longwear and my Maybelline Matte and Poreless and I'm just gonna mix that on the back of my hand and apply that to my face And as you can see here, I'm just going to blend that foundation in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. My eyebrows were already done before I applied the foundation, but applying foundation usually messes them up a little bit, so I'm just going back in and fixing that. Next I'm going to color correct under my eyes using my LA Girl Pro Concealer uh, color corrector in the orange color and then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with my beauty blender. So on top of my color correcting, I'm going to apply my MAC Pro Concealer in NC50. I really like this color. I think it's the perfect shade for my skin tone to highlight under my eyes. I love the MAC Pro Concealer. The only thing, <laughs> the only thing about this concealer that I don't really like is the fact that it dries super fast, so you have to work pretty quickly with it or else it becomes very hard to blend into your skin. And I'm just gonna bake my concealer in with my Laura Mercier powder. So I usually use this NYX Jumbo um, pencil in this milk color to prime my eyes with. I really like using this because it really helps you know, make the eyeshadow colors look opaque against my dark skin tone. So if you're having trouble getting those colors to pop against your dark skin, you know, try this NYX Jumbo Pencil. My Vice 4 palette gets used every day, guys, just for this color right here. It's a nice peanut butter brown color, great for a transition color. And I use it every day because it is the only color that I have in my collection right now that I'm able to really utilize as a all-around transition color. This Reveal 2 palette is a staple for everyone, from makeup artists to makeup beginners. It is such good quality eyeshadow for an inexpensive price. I believe I've only paid $12 for my palette and I utilize this palette every single day. It is a staple for me, believe me. So I'm just using that burgundy color in that palette and I am blending that into my crease. Using my 
my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. I'm going in with a flat elf brush and I'm just going to draw out the cut crease on my eyes. It is best to use a nice and thick concealer or a thick primer base, you know, something that's really lighter than your skin tone to help make that cut crease pop. And uh, you, so you can really see the contrast between the two colors that you're that you are applying to your lid. If you rush this process, you will mess up your crease. So just take your time and really work on perfecting both sides of your eyes and perfecting the line of the cut crease. Going into my Morphe 35T palette, I'm using this copper gold color and I'm just going to pat that right on top of the concealer. The cut crease is already a very sharp look, so I'm going to go ahead and soften this look up a bit by just blending out the bottom out of the portion of that eyeshadow. Going back into my 35T palette, I'm using the dark plum color to line my lower lash, a uh, lower waterline, but also I'm extending that past the outer V to really define where my cut crease is, I guess, going. If that makes any sense at all. Lining my waterline with that dark color really sharpened this look, so I'm gonna dull it down by blending that color out as much as possible. So I wasn't really satisfied with the contrast and I really wanted to deepen it so I went back into my Real 2 palette and grabbed that burgundy color again and really packed on the color right on top of that cut crease to deepen the contrast between the two. So I recently picked up this felt tip NYC liquid liner because I'm a fan of this one which is their wand liquid liner. I tried the felt one, it's hot garbage even though it costs more than, than, the, uh, than the wanded liquid eyeliner. Uh, I just didn't like the application of it I feel like it wasn't dark enough and that's usually my problem with felt tip liners I think maybe if I tried a higher end felt tip eyeliner that my mind would change but the NYC wanded eyeliner is very opaque very black and bold and I love it and it's cheaper than the felt tip one but works so much better
products in this video including makeup and hair will be listed in the description box below This is Too Faced Extreme Lip Injections. I really love this stuff, you guys. It really does plump up your lips and give you some extra oomph. Um, Amor Jada put me on, you guys, so you know I had to go get it. And then now you see I'm just contouring my face with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Mahogany. And I'm using my e.l.f. blush brush just to go ahead and blend that out. And I'm just using the beauty blender here just to blend that contour out even more. All right, and I'm just going in with this burgundy blush from Coastal Scents, and I'm applying that, as you can see, right under the apples of my cheekbones. I feel like when it comes to contour, blush, and highlight, you really have to find what works best for you. Many people like to apply blush to the apples of their cheekbones. I like to apply my highlighter to the apples of my cheekbones, and that's for me, that helps my cheekbones look more defined, look more like they're out there instead of making them less apparent, if that makes any sense at all. Comment down below if you use this method as well. Okay, so next I'm just going to wipe away my baking using a fluffy powder brush. I got this brush from Walmart, you guys. But probably some years ago and it's still kicking one of my favorite brushes and then next you will see that I'm going to contour my nose using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in I believe dark cocoa <laughs> Going in with a Coastal Sense highlighting brush, I'm just going to highlight the apples of my cheekbones with this brush. And um, this is just how I do it, you guys. I did recently get some new brushes from Morphe, which a video on my first impressions will be up very soon, so stay tuned for that. With you. Yeah, you hurt me, but I learned a 
Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this look by applying false lashes. The lashes that I'm using is by Kiss, and I believe they're called Beyond Natural. I really love these lashes. They've become one of my favorite. I really hope I'm not scaring you guys with my big ass eyes all up in the camera. Uh, I scare my mom sometimes with my eyes. You scare her? Really? True story guys. <laughs> Comment below if you know where I got that from. Oh my god. I'm still laughing from this movie that I saw. Comment below if you saw it as well. Okay, on to the hair. Um, to be honest with you guys, um, I jacked this hair up. <laughs> if you haven't seen my previous video, um, I attempted to color this hair red, which it came out to a very awful Ronald McDonald red color that I did not like. I used 50 volume developer, which I had never used before, and I it did some damage to this hair so because I cannot deal with the excessive amount of shedding I really try and find cute ways to still look cute and you know not have hair everywhere in my ass crack on the floor you know in my food on other people you know what I mean so basically what I'm doing here is I'm doing a crown like style I am not the best of braiders but I am braiding both sides down and I'm leaving a little bit of side hair out to curl later and yeah I don't really know how to describe this style so much it kind of reminds me of Princess Jasmine for some reason so just watch and see what I do. Like I said you guys I'm really not the best of braiders at all but um, when you take your time you can really make something that you're not so good at look look really presentable like this hairstyle and this cut crease I've never really tried both before I'm not really good at doing either but I think both came out very well because I took my time even with the braiding um, there were times where I had to go back and rebraid it because it looked sloppy so just take your time okay so I'm just widening the braids by just pulling them apart to get them really nice and thick at the top and then I'm going to secure this hairstyle this crown hairstyle by using bobby pins I mean not bobby pins oh yeah bobby pins that's what they're called I'm gonna use a bunch of bobby pins especially in the back area to pin up the two braids to the back and then I'm going to pin up the rest of the braid coming all the way around onto the front as you can see here
you're wondering what I use for my edges, I use this Ebon 48 Hour Edge Control. I think it's Ebon New York 48 Hour Edge Control. I really do like this product. It does hold down your edges. I don't know about a whole 48 hours. I never really had um, had that much of a hold ever from any product. But this product does work very well with any edge control, especially those that are of a jam consistency. Just make sure you tie down your edges, ladies. Don't expect those edges just to, you know, hold on their own. Like, they need some time to dry in that held down position. So use something to hold down your edges. I do use edge wraps, you guys. They are the shit. They're cheap and they work very well. Get them. So I'm just going in and curling those two little pieces on the sides that I left out. I really wish that I would have took the time out to find my regular curling wand instead of this bubbled one because I was having a difficult time to get the curl pattern I wanted on this side. The other side I had no problem. This side, for some reason, was giving me a little trouble. Okay, so remember I prepped my lips earlier with the lip injection? I'm just wiping that off so I can um, apply my lip liner. And then on top of that, I'm just going to finish this whole makeup look with Black Cherry by Melani. So here is the finishing look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about my first attempt at this cut crease and also what you think about this hair. I really would like you guys' feedback. And until next time, see you later. If you want to see how I went from Ronald McDonald to Jessica Rabbit, watch the link, you guys. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. Bye.